Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Oh yeah! I actually, I was just trying to think how do I get- oh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> Why did I think that was going to be hard to get to? I don't know. But anyway, this is Rock Candy Mines Dash 7 Shifting Floor Cave. Let's start! Oh, and I got a few clarifications to- well, actually just one clarification to make on a statement I said about the uh, the uh, gamepad that I'm using here to play with. It's not an actual HD screen, it's actually uh, 4, 484 by 4... Wait, eight, excuse me. 8... 854 by 480 pixels, I'm sorry. For it, it, It's a really odd resolution, but it is a 480p screen, and... Yeah, but it looks really, really good, so it kind of fooled me a little bit. <laughs> so that's all I thought it was HD, but it actually wasn't, and that coin is the first I'm guessing. And I'm stuttering a lot with my talking, so I should probably stop. Oh, by the way, um, I mean, stop with the explaining other of other stuff. The, um, the, the gamepad's control, uh, the screen and whatnot, it is really, really sensitive, like in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> like you can just gently tap it with your finger or something and, it, and it'll register it immediately and I'm astonished at how nice that is. Uh, the weight of the gamepad is also very well distributed so I, I was actually a little uh, skeptical about how it would feel, like how comfortable it would feel at first, but after playing with it for a while I can tell you that it is... I figured there was something up here based on this platform structure, but uh, I figured that it would be something that would be very uncomfortable to use because, you know, touchscreen and all the gizmos and stuff inside of it, you know, that's m making up all the functionality of it. I figured it would be... How did I take a hit there? I figured it would be quite uncomfortable. Well, it's not, and I also noticed that there is a secret up there because there is a coin, and that notified me that there might be something like... Per Wait, what? Oh! Well, what hit me up there, then? Was it a, a bat? Well, I broke a block, so... I should just be able to, yeah. I was expecting to just, just, like, wall jump or something up there. But, yeah, I... Whoa, I didn't know there was a hole there. <laughs> I really shouldn't explain stuff that uh, isn't related to the gameplay, because my mind tends to wander, and my commentary tends to get all flubby. <laughs> Because it's because I'm thinking of the game, my gameplay, you know, me actually playing, and then what el whatever else I'm thinking about saying at the same time as well. So whoa, 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 that could be a tricky one. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Oh boy, I need a shell, <laughs> and I panicked there. <clears throat> so I gotta remember to grab a shell at the end there. But yeah, I got I can't multitask too much while I play because I'm already you know multitasking to begin with. So. So apologies for my early flub-ups as I was thinking about what to say via, or I mean about the gamepad controller. Alright, more serious gameplay. You know, like, no more mistakes, even though there's probably going to be a lot more mistakes. <laughs> so, I'm not going to take you, because you're going to come awake by the time I get over there. And, oh jeez. I need to, yeah, wait a, a little bit at times. Yeah, I'm gonna take a hit there, aren't I? Yeah, I rushed a little too quickly there. Wait a second, that means I can't break the blocks up there. <sighs> Clearly this is not my day. Although I admit that I am uh, playing in glasses today rather than my usual contacts, which is kind of different for me. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's not that I can't see, I mean, it's not that I'm worse in glasses, it's just that it feels kind of weird as well. See, my eye, uh, when I woke up this morning, for some reason, it was a little, like, reddish. It, it doesn't seem like I have, like, pink eye or something like that. It, it's just like it, it was irritated or something. It's not right now. In fact, it looks normal right now. But when I woke up, it was like that, and I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I'm not going to put in my contacts today, just, like, give it a rest. Because, you know, how uh, if you wear contacts, your eyes can become slightly irritated by them after a while and whatnot. So, yeah, you gotta kind of give your eyes a break every once in a while. And this happens to be the day while I decided to record. <laughs> oh, no. Well, at least I got that coin. But now I need a shell. Or a 
Am I supposed to carry a shell from way back there then or something? Like way, way, way back where I last seen that Koopa? I don't know. Well, these two Koopas here are the nearest Koopas to where that thingamabob is, you know, the coin. So I'm, I've got to time this with ye ol red Koopa over there and get this bat out of the way. Yeah, so I, I would like to get like a running... so I don't get the Koopa to wake up. You get what I mean here. And throw it here! Or not! Oh! Is it gonna bounce back? Well, I think it despawned because it hit that... I mean, it would have hit that piranha plant. Ah! Well, it's certainly possible to get a shell from over there to the coin, so... I guess that's what they want me to do. Do not wake up, Koopa. Do not wake up. Thank you for not waking up. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait a second. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that last portion's a little tricky. A little trickier than I thought. And I am playing horrible today, by the way. So maybe it's not as tricky as I think it is. By the way, I'm playing so horrible that I've already got, yeah, the super guide block. <laughs> maybe it's possible that like, Koopas don't pop back out of their shells. If you're, oh, if you're holding them, because it certainly seemed like I was holding this one for quite a long time before it decided to pop back out, and I figured out the secret to doing it. You have to do it from up here, so you don't have to worry about um, falling off into the abyss or having to jump on that little tiny corner of the pipe. All right, now don't die, PK Gam. I know you're very tempted to do so today. Ah. But no, you're not going to die anymore. <laughs> I think they want me to triple jump here. Yep, that's what I thought. Those little flat plateaus were sort of an indicator of where they wanted me to jump from to get the right jump height and distance and whatnot. Nine minutes for this level somehow. <laughs> yeah, I think it was because I was just way too distracted with stuff on my mind there and yeah I gotta focus away from that and just focus on the gameplay for the rest of this video and the rest of this recording day this is day eight of my recording by the way and that gives me a shortcut back there I guess but um how do I get to that mushroom house I probably have to do a rigmarole with the switches somehow but anyway, I'm just gonna go to Roy's Conveyor Castle! I bet there's gonna be conveyor belts. I bet ya! Oh, there's conveyor belts. Are those gonna sink or are they gonna stay in place? Oh, they're gonna stay in place, okay. Whoa! I thought that was gonna be a Poto Boo! <laughs> and I gotta get in here before... Oh, I'm, I lost my mushroom. But I gotta get in there before it gets... squishified. And, like, you know, I can't get in there. And there appears to be conveyor belts in the lava. Yeah, I thought those coins were Potoboos jumping out. They scared me. Evil, mean coins. And then there's probably something. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say there's probably something up there. But, you know, I got to get up there safely. <laughs> um, hmm. Eh. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, I got one coin, so... Anyway, I guess I'm riding the blocks in the lava. I get the, there might be something in one of these things. If I go high enough, like maybe this one will have something. Yes, it does. Oh, there's a pipe. I was expecting a coin, although this could lead to a coin. Uh oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna move from here for a sec. Maybe there's more coming. Maybe. No? Fine, be that way. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, good thing there's blocks on there. I thought I was going to have to wall jump on my way out of here. And this is probably an extra life. Yep. It's just how the game tends to place things in blocks like that, I suppose. Oh, I see. This is going to be a block riding section combined with the red coins. Am I gonna get it? Yeah! Nice flower! 
and a midpoint. Yeah, I'm playing a lot better now that I talked all that stuff out of the last level. <laughs> uh, is that... It looks like the blocks are floating. I mean, these... The castle tower things are floating above the lava. Usually they're in the lava, so that's kind of interesting. And what's with these treadmills above there? Are these blocks going to fall once I press this? I'm guessing they will. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh god. <laughs> I hope I didn't make a coin flop out somewhere. Oh jeez. I forgot you were there. <laughs> oh god. How do I... Well, I, I suppose I don't have to be up there. Unless there's gonna be like a coin on the upper route. Then I, I could just get it like from here. Oh! No, there's nothing there. I thought there might be something up there. I didn't see anything hidden just on the edge of the screen and whatnot. Wait, oh. Oh, okay, I was gonna say there's... This is a little suspicious now because I found the door and we're not, we're not nearly done. <laughs> or are we? How do you get... Oh, I'm sure I could get over there with the squirrel suit, sure. But you know what I mean, like normally. <laughs> okay, I got, let's see if I can triple jump over that. Okay, I would have to do the second jump. One, two. Oh! <laughs> nope, bad timing. Oh, come on, this can't be that hard. Or maybe I'm missing another invisible block. Or maybe I missed another path. And I didn't have enough speed. <laughs> Will I ever make this? Or maybe this is an impossible jump? Or something, and I'm trying to do the impossible? Like, maybe it's something like... Slide... Into something... No. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, I had that one. <laughs> yeah. Get the feel of it. Yeah. Hmm, maybe it is an impossible jump. But if so, how do you get over there then? <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. I refuse to trust things as they are. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Those blocks appear to be a way to get back, if anything. Maybe I was supposed to use you. Hmm. Well, I'm running low on time, so let's just go in here and face down the boss, I suppose, and then come back for another run through this level. It wasn't a hard level. Let's see what Roy has up his sleeve this time in this game. Oh, goody! <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of puzzled as to... Where that... I mean, how do you get to that other coin? It's definitely past the door there. And I'm not going to the next level before I... Before I finish this one, that's for sure. Okay, so you've got yourself a little cannon here. It's a little pocket-sized cannon. Okay, it's not pocket-sized, but... Oh! That was bad on my part. I, I didn't predict which side he was going to turn from, and I got sort of trapped there. Gotta make sure to... I was gonna say, when is he coming back to you... To, uh, normal... Normal moves. Oh, boy. <laughs> This isn't all that hard, I can tell, even though, but although, when I, whenever I say that, I usually end up taking a hit. <laughs> oh, this one... <laughs> that one's a homing bill. But anyway, I, I hit the midpoint, so I, I reset the clock, so I guess I'll have another shot at seeing where that third coin is, I suppose. Oh, I did the triple jump, and it still failed! So I really don't know. <laughs> it might have something to do with those conveyor belts on that side. Because, you know, they're high up and there might be something hidden there. Perhaps. Maybe. Huh. Uh. <laughs> but 
that a normal jump just isn't sufficient enough for that. I suppose I could come back there with an acorn. That wouldn't be too hard to do. I have a bunch in my inventory after all, but anyway. Let's give Roy another shot this time. I will win, because I know it's coming. <laughs> Whee! Although he has a variety of bullet bills, so maybe I don't. Maybe he's gonna start shooting bonsai bills or something at me. <laughs> Come on, jump up. Jump up, I'm safer up here. That's what I thought. <laughs> Now, because you don't directly aim for me, I can just, like, stand in the middle and just jump rope right over you. Like, some versions of the Koopa Kids seem to um, set themselves up for... Oh yeah, that works perfectly! <laughs> like, they sort of aim for you on their spins. But I would like to see what your third phase is like, because I already seen what your second one was like, so maybe I won't hit you when you're on the ground like that. I'll hit you when you're up here and just see what you've got. Oh! <laughs> you're pretty mobile there, man. Boop. Not mobile enough. <laughs> so, I didn't see any bonsai bills that run. Or any special bullet bills. Well, I suppose there was the homing kind, but... Still, I was expecting more out of you. <laughs> and I also wonder... Maybe that other path, you see that other path outside the castle? It looks like it leads to the back of the castle. Is it possible that that path might lead to that side of the castle, like maybe as a shortcut? I certainly wouldn't put that past the creators. So, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to do this. Flip that around. Then I'm going to hit this. Now I'm going to go into the back of the castle, because I remember in Super Mario World, there was the quote-unquote back door. What is this? You can't click on that. Okay. So it does enter the castle, but where does it enter you to? This is the side, isn't it? It's a totally different area. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is indeed the side. Oh man. Or at least it looks like it. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Oh, fine. Be that way. <laughs> <laughs> tricky, tricky dogs. Okay. So there's those. Okay, I gotta rush into that hole before something plops in there and covers it up. It looks like that I'll have a good shot at doing that if I just hit the block, hit the switch, and then run for it. Like. was too quick for my own good. Okay, but that is the solution to this. So you can't get the coin from the other side. You have to get it from the outside of the castle. Very tricky Nintendo, but not tricky enough. Oh, come on. Let me hit, let me hit the block. This conveyor is the worst conveyor. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. Let those fall and get there. Okay, that's what I thought. <sighs> Because it seemed like the setup was going to stack them up a little, based on how those first couple blocks sunk in the lava. Alright, now I just gotta tackle Roy one more time, and I probably should end off this part because I've been playing kind of badly. <laughs> well, at least for the first part, that's what kind of stalled me a lot. But this part's t taken me uh, 22 minutes so far, so... Yeah, I, I expect once I cut down the part, it'll be around uh, 15 minutes once I cut out all the fluff and whatnot. So, let's tackle Roy and not give him a chance. Whee! Yeah, so do not forget about that secret back entrance there. The back door to his castle, like there was to Bowser's castle in Super Mario World. Come on, get up here. There we go. <laughs> Your movements are predictable, now that I have seen you the, a few times. And I'm guessing that you are going to pop yourself up back in the center, like you did before. Yep. And then you are going to pop yourself up on the right side. Maybe. <laughs> it might be the left side, it might be the right side. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was right there! Oh well. <laughs> That's certainly the fastest way you can beat the boss. Well, one of the fastest ways. You could probably um, make it 
shave a couple seconds off the first part and then, you know, make sure you hit him on the, the third part without taking a hit. And I got all the star coins! Woo! So I'm guessing that means I found all the secret exits and secret levels and stuff like that. I hope. But as I said before, don't tell me. I'll be back to get them later if I didn't find them all. But anyway, I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.